The story of my grandfather's life starts with his death in 1999. My grandfather had died in hospital of alcohol poisoning and internal bleeding. He had been beaten to a pulp and then left for dead. The two culprits, my aunts and uncle, his own children. The question you might be asking yourself is why? The simple answer is because of revenge. The more complex answer does not lie in his own death, but the one he, Makinani, committed 20 years to his death. He was born in 1937. He was born into a violent and inhumane world of World War II. Since Swaziland only gained its independence from Britain in 1968, they had no choice to come answer their call to join the war on their behalf. King of Swaziland, Sopuza, agreed to gather volunteers to fight as part of the Allied forces. Thousands of Swazi men signed up and suffered the brutality of war. The war ended in 1945, but that was not the end of the violence. Shaped by a violent society, he too was violent. Having argued with another man in a shipping, he attacked him with a pocket knife, killing him instantly. Awash with the realisation of what he had done, he ran. He ran to South Africa. Apartheid, ripe since its creation in 1948, was at its most violent. The country was mourning the loss of 69 people who had died in the Sharpeville massacre on 21 March 1960. Fifteen years later, he left South Africa in the midst of his crisis as a wealthy man. He returned to Swaziland in 1975 and bought himself a head of cattle. He used the cattle to lobola my grandmother in 1978. My grandmother Evelina Mavimbela had escaped bullets in 1976, so it's her uprising. Little did she know, she was about to enter into a state of domestic violence. My grandfather self-medicated using alcohol. A mentally ill person, the alcohol induced his violence. He was a sick man. He needed help and he didn't know it. He created fear and hatred among his children. They knew the back of his hand, had felt the pain of being touched in violence. But his mind was his greatest enemy. Without psychiatric help, he suffered in silence. Created an oppressive regime until he suffered no more. Because they answered violence with violence. Years later, my whole family still carry the scars. Some on their bodies, others in their hearts. But for now it seems that they know that violence is not an option.